Hi everyone. Are you a mom that has catastrophic thoughts about your adult child's future? Or maybe even your own? I want to dive into three thoughts on that today. Um, I definitely lived that way as well for a long time and would love to talk about that today. So for those of you that are new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, this channel exists because I'm a firm believer that every mom deserves a support system during this season. And um, I personally have walked this road with my daughter for about 10 years. And all the while her life was spiraling out of control, mine was doing the same. And so let's dive into the topic at hand today. And so I, like I said, I have three thoughts on this. You know, as a mom, we would be um, lying if we said we were not worried about our children's future, right? But some parents, some moms literally um, catastrophize about the future and it, they just obsess over it because maybe what you're seeing in the natural eye is um, bad enough to where you just don't know um, what the next step could possibly be. And so with that, you know, my first thought is, um, well, first of all, this is one of the most destructive things we can do as parents for our kids and for ourselves, really. Um, number one is to have a negative view of the future, we are expecting a certain outcome. So, you know, we feel helpless. And so we're projecting that onto our kids, maybe even unknowingly. Um, a lot of that is subconsciously, right? We, we have this negative view of the future. And so um, the way that we speak with them or um, we're allowing our thoughts to overtake even the good thoughts that we do have, um, those just the, the bad always outweighs the good. So you have to be careful with that. So number two is um, excessive worry makes you anxious. That's just a fact, right? I think we've all been there. We can all say, yep, that's true. So that excessive um, worry, if that makes you anxious, gives you anxiety, well, that is going to hinder you from problem solving because you're not using your best thinking. When you are suffering from anxiety, everything is, becomes a crisis, right? And so you can't parent out of crisis, crisis mode. And so your, your best thinking, your best actions, um, things that, you know, you know, action, the, the, the actions that you would have taken before, maybe you're not because you, you're full of fear. Those are all things that you need to consider it, why you should not have this type of thinking because you're not going to be your best self. You're not going to be your best parent. Um, or best spouse, anything in, in a, that type of a mode, because it's literally crisis mode. And number three, it also causes us to be more judgmental and critical. So when you're responding to your adult child um, and you have this catastrophic view of the future because, you know, X, Y, Z has already happened. So the next logical step is that it's just going to be complete, you know, complete chaos. You don't really know that, right? We become more judgmental and critical because we already have that view of what we think is going to happen. And even though um, we all want it to be a good outcome, we all want it to be positive, that that view, when you start work, obsessive worry and, and um, having the you know worst case scenario in your head nonstop, that is going to take, um, take over your thoughts. It's going to take over how you react. It's going to take over all of that. And it really does make us more judgmental and probably critical of our adult child. Whereas if we were able to step back and really try to evaluate the facts and try to take the emotion out of it, because we need to think past the emotional pain. The emotional pain just is complete chaos. And if you've ever had it where your spouse or a friend can see where you are in chaos and you are um, completely stressed out, you know, and they can see it and maybe they've approached you and said, okay, just let me take it from here or let's take a break, that kind of thing. Because the stress is causing the emotional pain and then our reactions, um, like I said, are not as good as they could or should be. So I hope that makes sense. All of that to say, we cannot um, think this way about the future. We cannot um, catastrophize about what we think the future is going to look like. Nobody knows what tomorrow is going to bring. And but for your own sanity and well-being, um, my hope for you is that you can take a step back and take a deep breath 
and know that the negative view of the future is not good for you or your child. Excessive worry is only causing your anxiety to worsen. And um, also, lastly, is just that we do become more judgmental and critical, and we don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Life is hard enough, right? And the situation is hard enough. And so um, I just encourage you to take a look at yourself and see if maybe you are you are doing some of these things um, subconsciously even. So I hope that helped. And for those of you that um, are interested in a, a one-on-one discovery call where 30 minutes where you and I chat about your situation, what's going on, and I can you can learn how I can help. Um, I would be honored to do that. You can click the link below. Um, And then I will see you next time. Thanks.